I'm going to show you how to make a UI alert view. These are the pop-up bubbles that happen in a lot of iPhone apps. Uh, they usually show you a message or a warning. So let's go to Xcode, make a new project, a view-based application, and call it alert view. All right, so the first thing we need to do is open up your classes folder and you want to go to the .h file. Let's delete these comments. All right, so in here we want to add a UI text field and star and call this uh, text field. And remember, uh, Xcode or Objective-C is uh, cap sensitive. So the uh, lowercase has to be lowercase. So the UI text field, that's where we're going to type in uh, a little message that'll pop up in the pop-up window. Uh, do property, non-atomic, retain. Uh, we need to make this an IB outlet. If you don't put IB outlet, the interface builder will not see your, uh, your text field and you won't be able to wire it together. All right, and then we want to add two functions, two IB actions. The first one is called clicked, and this one is going to be for when we click on the button to launch the alert. And the second one, IB action, is going to be called remove keys. Okay, great. Uh, now, now that we've done that, we can hop into the uh, XIB file, alert view, view controller. All right, so within here, we're going to build our interface. And for this one, we need a text field. So grab this text field. And we want a rounded rectangle button. So we'll grab that. And on my button, I'm going to say, show me a alert. Okay. The other thing we want to do, we have to, um, we have to put a function on the background because when the keys come up, they stay up unless you uh, tell them to go away. But we wanted to make it so if you click on the background, the, the keys will go away. But right now we can't, in our files owner, we can't put anything on the background here. We can link up our text field. Let's go ahead and do that. So that's linked up and we can link up our clicked to touch up inside. But the remove keys, we can't do that. So in order to do that, you need to click on the background, and in view identity, it says UI view in classes for the uh, this tab here. We want to change that to UI control, and that class is going to let us put an event on the background, and we'll just say touchdown. Okay, so now everything's linked up. Uh, quit save and quit out of interface builder go back into xcode now we have to write these two functions so go ahead and copy go ahead and copy these two actions go to the .m file and you can paste them right under implementation Add the curly brackets to each of these functions. All right, so for removed keys, this is just going to remove the keyboard. Uh, we want to write text field resign first responder, and that's going to hide the keys when someone clicks on the background. All right, then up here, when someone clicks the button, we want to launch a UI view. Oh, I forgot, we need to synthesize uh, text field. 
So now the text field's been synthesized. And so this is a new thing. This is a UI alert view. We're going to call it alert equals two square brackets alert, sorry, UI alert view allocate. And then we want to do init. No, that's not it. We want init with title. Now this is going to give you a really long thing. I'm going to just bring it down so you can see it a little bit better. Let's bring each one of these on its own line. All right, so what's going on here? So we have init with title. This is the title of the alert. I'm just gonna say my title. I'm gonna say my alert. And then my message. So this message, we could hard code something and say like, hey, what's up? Or we could, but what we wanna do is we wanna use the text that's in the text field. So we'll do text field dot text. And that's going to place whatever text we had in the text field into our message. For delegate, you want self. And then cancel button title, this is the, we're going to say done. This is what people click to end it. Uh, for other button titles, you could have multiple buttons, but we don't want any. So we just write nil and then close it with a square bracket and a semicolon. Uh, that's what sets the UI alert, but we need to show it. Oops. To show our alert, we want to do alert and show. That'll show it. Then we want to release it because we're done with it. Release. And then one last thing is down in view did unload, or I'm sorry, um, deallocate. We need to release our text field. Text field release. This releases the memory. Okay, so now if we build and run, should be in good shape. So I'll type some. My name is Andrew. I guess you could type it with these. Show me an alert. And then it says, My name is Andrew. Uh, also, if you click on the background, the keys go away. So when you click on that, the keys pop up. But if you click on the background, the keys go away. But you can write whatever you want in here. And then that will show up in the alert. There it is, cats. So we're taking the text in the text field and putting it in our alert. And then we also learned how to hide the keys. Great job.